I'm so excited to be coming in at this point um, as the pandemic winds down, we all hope, um, because I believe there's an even greater need um, for mentors in our community, for kids to get that support, that extra encouragement and support. We currently only have 24 littles, 24 kids um, who have active matches. We have 84 on a waiting list. So because of that, we are in dire need of adult volunteers. Age 21 and up, we're going to do a heavy recruiting effort for to reach out to people to invest in our youth. Um, I believe that relationships are the way to change our community, to improve our community. And so we're going to be doing a lot of recruiting for volunteers to be able to match them with those 84 kids who are out there waiting. It is throughout um, the five counties that we cover, Ross, Pike, Pickway, Highland, and Fayette counties. Um, and those 24 that are, are already matched is also including in those five counties. So as you can see, we don't have as many kids being served currently as we would like, and we have a lot waiting. Um, and I believe that there are a lot more out there that are waiting to be enrolled or that will be enrolled soon as we, as we ramp up our recruiting efforts for both bigs and for littles. Recent years, from 2016 to 2020, July of 2020, um, my husband and I were living in Valencia, Spain. We were missionaries to college students. Uh, we ran an organization called Envivo that served college students and mentored. A big part of our, our mission there was mentoring college students, um, giving them tools and encouragement to become successful adults. In July of 2016, we moved back to Ross County. I'm a Ross County girl. Uh, we moved back to Ross County. My husband is now on staff at a local church and I just accepted the position of director at Big Brothers Big Sisters of South Central Ohio. Mentoring is important in every aspect of life from childhood into adulthood. I believe in mentorship. I believe in the power of investing in other people. So I think that my experience mentoring older people will directly translate um, to providing programs and encouraging adults to become mentors for younger people and investing in our youth. Our two main fundraisers are Bowl for Kids Sake and Dance for Kids Sake. We will absolutely continue with those two main fundraisers. Our Bowl for Kids Sake has been adjusted a little bit this year due to COVID restrictions. So next Saturday, June 5th, we will be having a celebration in the park, a community day in the park that will be the celebration of that fundraiser. Dance for Kids Sake is already on the calendar. I don't wanna say the exact date yet, but hopefully mid-October. Um, we're just making sure that facilities are available and we don't conflict with Ohio State games or anything like that. You know, important things for the community. We are also considering other fundraisers. Fundraising, of course, is a huge, um, important part of this agency. We are very heavily funded by the Ross County United Way, and we are also heavily funded by Paint Valley AD, uh, Adam Board. Um, but private donors and fundraisers are very important to our, our overall budget, our overall funding.